Before we look at some typical example questions involving interest, um, it's, it's, it's a good idea to take a short while to introduce the concept of interest. Yeah? Because what is happening, interest, is when I go to the bank and I give them uh, my money, uh, they will use that money to make more money uh, for themselves, but as a thank you, they will give me a particular percentage um, of interest yeah, over the money I give to them. Yeah, so interest is the money I get from the bank if I give them my money to invest. Yeah, but also the other way around, if I would take money from the bank, yeah, I would have to pay them interest, uh, a particular percentage over the money I borrow from them. Yeah, but let's say for instance, yeah, I put a hundred uh, LE in this case, the Egyptian currency, in my bank account. Yeah, and the bank says, well, I'm going to give you five percent interest yeah over the money you put in your account now let's say I put in a hundred LE then I'll have at the end of the year a hundred LE um, uh, divided by a hundred percent times five percent so the bank is going to give me let's put an LE there sorry it's going to give me five LE interest yeah so the bank is going to say well thank you very much for putting uh, giving us that money for a year yeah, as, as, as a thank you, we're going to give you interest, which in this case equals to 5%. Yeah, so 5 LE. And if yeah, I would have given them 300 LE at the beginning of the year, yeah, so I give them more money three times as much, then they will say at the end of the year, well, thank you very much, you're going to get 5% interest over the 300 LE now, which equals then to 15. Yeah, so if I would grab my money after 12 months, yeah, for 5% interest a year, I would get 315 uh, LE back from the bank. Yeah? So that is 15 LE interest. Okay, now I'm going to leave it there. The only thing I want to say is you have two types of interest. Yeah, and that is very important to distinguish between them. Yeah, and it is always very clearly written in the question about uh, which type you're dealing with. Because we have simple interest. Yeah simple interest and the other type of interest is what we call compound or compound interest okay and my experience is that a lot of students regard compound interest to be very difficult and confusing and it's not okay if you know what you're doing if you know what you're uh, what you're talking about um, it's absolutely not confusing and so make sure you invest some time to really understand compound interest and of course also simple interest because actually guaranteed you're gonna get questions about it always worth a lot of points yeah so it's a present okay you know you're gonna get those big questions about interest that's simple and compound interest now the question is what are you gonna do with that information yeah so I suggest you have a look at the next videos which are going to talk firstly about simple interest and give you some example questions and then about compound interest yeah but both of them involve money you get from the bank or sometimes you have to pay to the bank when you're borrowing yeah but usually money you get from the bank because you yeah, because you put your own money on their account okay I'll see you at the next video